I will begin this session with a clearing and connecting ritual. I will then share the messages and close with a prayer and blessing. I am burning white sage and neroli essential oils to clear negativity and bring in positivity for us all. While I do this, please scan yourself for negative attachments and blockages, allowing the smoke to dissipate these maladies. Replace any lack of forgiveness for self or others with love, feeling yourself becoming lighter and freer as you do so. Open your crown chakra and let pure white light flow into your being, helping to protect you from negativity. Please put your hands in your favored prayer position. And while the singing bowl is ringing, take a deep, deep breath, holding and releasing it slowly while mentally or verbally chanting OM. Feel yourself connect with your higher self and its connection to the bliss of the divine source. Become one with the one. As I did in the shuffling and layout of this spread prior to recording, I again welcome my higher self connected to divine source to assist me in delivering the most needed messages to us all. This message is for our heart chakra collectively. And our question for it is, how can I cultivate joy, gratitude, love, and compassion for others so that I am cosmic love? I'm going to read intuitively and Hopefully we will get some connecting points to that question. I see that there's a great need to at, at some point, hopefully today, to just take a pause, to fully release, to reset, 100% do nothing, even if it's for just a few minutes. You may feel like you can't help yourself from doing this. You may feel overwhelmed by something that's riling you up, that's making you feel impassioned, perhaps even angry. And it could be around your belief system or ideas, something mental. And what I'm hearing here is that you need to relinquish your control and this idea of belief as secondary to your connection to something greater than you, something more powerful than you, that you are of and to not forget that, and that there's something unanswerable about that, and that there's always something greater than what the mind is contriving, to not forget that. This may have you feeling a little bit isolated, maybe a little self-righteous, you may feel like the timeout should be you just disconnecting from other people altogether. And maybe just enjoying your things by yourself. You may even feel a little bit smug about this. But yet, you know it, that it's the feeling that matters, that it doesn't make your heart happy, that you're not joyful. 
And so you know you can't stay in that type of energy, that that's not the solution. So you must find another way. And here we see that this could be you deciding to understand that there are lots and lots of tomes from our ancestors, many books filled with theories and ideas and contexts that we can't even understand, and that these were all important to people that came before us, yet they're not attached to these things. This isn't what it means to be a soul. This isn't being in our higher power. That again, there's something greater than attachments to thoughts and ideas. And that these are not going to heal us always. They can impart wisdom. They can impart truths and and assistance, but it's our attachment to them that can become harmful. And that it's more important to always stay attached to our spirit and how that's attached to something greater than us than it is to our theories and our memories. Because we will have freedom and others will have freedom as well if we remember this. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this session. I honor you for living your truth for the highest good of us all, using the gifts you came to share with the world to help evolve human consciousness. Love is your superpower. Remember, you are part of the great mystery. Know that at any time, you may request the assistance of your ancestors. You are the medicine, so please help heal Gaia and yourself. Please donate your time or resources to restore equality and offer the compassion that all sentient beings need. Thanks and praise to all emanations of the pure white light for their grace and wisdom. Eternal blessings to you and yours. Peace unto you always. In finality, my gratitude to each and every one of you for your likes, shares, subs subscribes, and donations. Affordable private bookings directed by your personal questions are available. So indulge by going to my website through the link below. Found through my playlists are seven types of readings as well as nature bathing, soundscapes, and spiritual meditation compilations. You may also find me on Instagram at Feather Crown Tree, featuring similar yet uniquely distinct content. Love to you.